So we started our Queensland trip with rain all along the coast. We decided to stay west, go out through Windsor, have a morning tea at Greyhounds where it was a little chilly and then head up the Newfoundland Highway past Tamworth, had lunch at Tamworth and went on to Armadale. We are thinking about staying in Armadale but we were booked in at Bellingen so from Armadale we pushed on to Bellingen where the last 100 kilometres was pretty heavy rain and a lot of fog. Day two, Sunday morning, we left Bellingen in beautiful conditions of lovely blue sky and bone dry roads up the Bellingen mountain, which was absolutely sensational. Yesterday we came down this road in the pouring rain and those Michelin road fires were truly inspiring and did a wonderful job. We basically had the run up waterfall way to ourselves. We had no cars in front of us right up to the top of the mountain. Little waterfall coming up here on the left. It's quite pretty. And the road surface is very smooth. Um, a really great ride. Just nearing the top of the mountain now before you have basically a nice run all the way to the end of the waterfall way where it meets with Armadale Road. top part of the waterfall way after Dorigo is a lovely ride with sweeping bends and a very nice surface. The countryside is very nice and this is enjoyed all the way along the waterfall way to the teeter section where it meets up with Armadale Road. We had morning tea at Glen Innes and then proceeded along the Gyra Highway to, through to Grafton. This is a lovely road and along the way we stopped at the Raspberry Lookout just for a few photos. A lot of this road is open until you get to the twisty area and the twists go up and down the mountain and as usual what happens on twisty roads is from having no cars anywhere at all eventually you run into 10 20 cars in a row I think this ride would be best enjoyed starting at Grafton and going the opposite direction along to through to Glen Innes. After leaving 
Grafton, we went through to Casino, and then along the Summerland Highway up to Woodenbong, where we stopped for the night and stayed at the Woodenbong Hotel. Got there in time to catch the last hour of Bathurst. And Woodenbong is quite a lovely place. Woodenbong Hotel served up a lovely meal that night too. Monday morning, day three, we woke up to foggy Woodenbong streets. We were set to go to Hope Island via Mount Glorious and we got off to a great start as the road were dry and the fog had lifted, lifted and Mount Lindsay Road was more than we expected. Although the surface of Mount Lindsay Road is sometimes bumpy, most of the time it's pretty good. And there was bend after bend, which was very delightful. After we left Casino, we approached Mount Lindsay and we saw the mountain in the distance. And we're always trying to get a photo of that. And there's Mount Lindsay on our right, right now. At this stage, we had wet weather gear on, thinking it was going to be cold or maybe even raining with the fog. So we pulled over, took off the wet weather gear, and there it was, Mount Lindsay in the background. Didn't even know it was going to be there. got back on the bikes and the bend started literally straight away. Sometimes I thought it was a little bit like the Omeo Highway. Ivanhoe Dam and from there up to the cafe at Mount Glorious. This was the best part of the ride at the ride up to the Mount Glorious cafe was absolutely sensational for a fresh service road and at great twisty bends. After leaving the cafe, the road continues down the mountain towards Mount Nebo with relatively nice sweeping bends, a few tight bends, pretty good surface, but a very, very heavily policed stretch of road. residential area, slower speed limits and the most heavily policed road probably in Queensland. When you get down the foot of the mountain you're in the outer suburbs of Brisbane, due west of Brisbane. We tracked through suburbia to the M1 where we finished the trip from along the M1 through to Hope Island. Brisbane sign 